What you guys got another video here for you on four ways to block USB devices on Windows. Now we're on Windows 11, but you could use this on Windows 10 as well. So why would you want to block uh, your USB devices? Well, there's quite a few different reasons why. One of the main reasons is if people plug in a USB device into your computer, it could contain malware and transfer onto your computer. That's one of the main reasons. But whether you're using Windows 11 home or pro this video will still be useful because i'll show you both ways whether you're using a pro version of windows or home including for windows 10 as well also stopping people from copying data to usb devices is another reason now before we continue let's have a quick word from today's video sponsor cd key sales if you're looking for cheap windows 10 pro or cheap windows 11 pro OEM keys, then check out the links in the video description and use my promo code capital B capital R 09 and apply this to your order and get a 30% discount on all your purchases on CD key sales. Once you submit your order, they will then send you your key. You can use that key to activate your version of Windows or upgrade from Windows Home to Windows Pro. Anyway, let's go on with the video. So first we're going to use the group policy method. If you're using Windows 10 Pro or Windows 11 Pro or above, then you can use the group policy method to be able to block USB devices on that computer. So let's open up the group policy editor here and we're going to navigate down to compute configuration. Then we're going to open up administrative templates and then we're going to go straight down to where it says system. Open up this one right here and then we're going to spread the menu so we can see it a little bit more. There we go. And what we're going to do is going to come all the way down and we're looking for this one right here, which says removable storage access. And that's the one we need to go into. So let's click on this one right here on the right hand pane. You can see there is options for CDs and DVD and also custom. And there's also options for floppy disk and removable disks and all removable storage and stuff like that. So let's take a look. Uh, inside here what we're looking at is the removable disk and we're going to be concentrating on that one so there's two of them inside here which is the removable disks deny execute access you can change this option if you wanted to you all you need to do here is double click on this option and this will allow you to enable this feature and block the execution of usb devices there so let's go ahead and i'll show you that by enabling this feature and then also there is another one in here, which is a much more better option, in my opinion, to block all uh, storage classes. But let's start with the first one. So let's double click on it and we're going to go to removable disks. And you can see deny execute access. All you need to do here, if you enable this feature, it says if you enable this policy setting execute access is denied to this removable storage class. And that's all you need to do right there. The other one, which is a much better option uh, for, for this, in my personal opinion, we're going to apply this and click OK. The much better option is this one a little bit further down here where it says uh, all removable storage classes deny all access. And this will block all access for all storage devices that are plugged in to that computer. So double click on this option. And what this will do is it will completely deny access to USB devices, whether they be USB flash drives or whether it will be any sort of device you plug into that USB port. And you can see here, if you enable this policy setting, no access is allowed to any removable storage class. So basically, nothing that you plug into that computer is going to allow access to it. It's not going to work. So that is probably a much more better option for blocking all USB storage classes there. So we can give this a test and I'll show you exactly what this is actually done. So let's close off the group policy editor and I'll go to uh, Explorer here and I'll show you the USB flash drive that I have plugged in. So here we have a USB flash drive plugged in and also CD, DVD, ROMs do not work either. So any type of device that you have plugged in will not be allowed to gain access. It won't run there, as you can see. So that's one option. Uh, for the group policy but what about home users they're not going to be able to use this method because they don't have group policy editor so let me show you what you could do if you was on a home version and we can use the registry editor and you can now see the actual devices re-enabling because i've just turned those policies off 
and you can see them down the bottom right hand side there okay so let's close that off and we'll move on to the next option for you so the next option would be to go to the registry editor and make registry edits there so let's go to the start button here and we're going to type in reg edit to open up the registry editor so let's go ahead and do that so type reg edit right here and click on registry editor and here is the registry editor so let me go back to the beginning here so we can go to a new place so we're going to go to h key local machine here and this will block it on the machine rather than the user and we're going to go to system then come down to current control set from there we're going to go to services and then what we need to do here is come all the way down there's quite a way to go so let's go all the way down here and what we're looking for here is usb store so let's have a look for it it's just down here somewhere there it is right there i can see it so we need to click on this option and you can see it's in capital letters so on the right hand side here what you need to do is double click on the start option on the right hand pane here and what this will do is it will block it and stop it from running so it's it's got an option there which is set to free uh, the value free on start and you need to change this to value four so let's go ahead and do that so double click on this option and make sure you put this to four now if you want to revert back you would just change this back to three so if you're going to be working inside the registry it's always best to make a backup of your registry or make a restore point on your computer it goes without saying if you're messing around with your computer to always make sure that you've got a safety net to roll back to if you're going to be messing around in these sort of areas another option you have is to right click on the start menu and go to device manager here you can disable usb drives here so let's go ahead and i'll show you basically how this works so inside the universal serial bus controllers you'll be looking for the usb drives that you want to disable for instance this one is the usb root hub usb 3.0 and if you have a drive plugged into there and i disable it it's going to stop it from working so you can see now we have this device disabled it should look like this now it's disabled and i'll show you what that looks like when we re-enable this uh, driver here for the usb root hub here so let's go ahead and i'll quickly show you that so i can expand this here and go to this pc you can see uh, once we re-enable this driver here it should appear right here so let me enable and we can go to this window and you can see it's now appeared inside explorer and that's because we've just enabled that driver uh, again you would disable it it won't work whatever you plug in there will not work because you've disabled the device driver for that particular usb storage another really good option for people is the usb block this is a free program that you can download it does have some limitations on it on the free version but again i do believe that if you are using this uh, for security reasons to protect from malware or data transfer to usb drives or stuff like that then this is a really good option because it has a password set on here as well i'll show you quickly how this works but this would be my go-to and i would definitely pay for this for if i was in a say a corporate environment or some sort of environment where i wanted to protect people that need access to usb drives but also you want to protect them so let's go ahead and put a password here. I'm just going to do a simple one here. But you would obviously put a strong password inside uh, this box right here. So we've got a little quick password here. We're going to click OK here. And this is the application. As you can see, you're going to have much more control with this particular application. You can block network access. You can block disk and floppy drives. You can block uh, non-system drives. And you can also block USB drives. And that's what we're going to concentrate in this video if you want to see a full video on this let me know and i might do a quick short video on it but you can see we do have a drive here if i click on it it's going to say you don't currently have permission to access this folder here you would have to put in the password to authenticate so you can gain access to that usb drive and again i will say uh, no here because i want to decline and the drive will then disappear if i decline here and i don't access it so let me close this off and close this off and as soon as i click on close here it's going to basically make the drive disappear because we didn't authenticate it by putting the password in let's do that one more time here and you can see the drive is populated again let me go ahead and click on it 
And again, this time I'm going to authenticate it by putting the password that I have got set for this system. So we're going to go ahead and put a password in, authenticate, and it should allow us to gain access to that drive. Now, as you can see here, this is going to be a great option for people that are walking away from their computer uh, and someone may walk up with a USB flash drive or storage device, plug it in to try and copy all the data. And they won't be able to. And you can see right here, this drive has been put to the authorized uh, drives list. So we can now say it's going to be authorized and we can now gain access to that drive. This could be sensitive information that you don't want anyone to gain access to. And again, if you're at the computer, it's pretty uh, safe because you're on the computer. But when you walk away, someone could quite easily plug that USB flash drive in and basically copy data from that uh, computer. But with this method, they will not be able to because they won't know what the password is and they would have to authenticate that drive by putting the password in so they can gain access to it and then they can copy data to it. But they won't know that because you're going to put a strong password onto that system to stop that from happening. Anyway, I hope this video has been some sort of use to you. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. For those who wanted the Discord server back, I have recreated a new Discord server. I will leave a link in the video description if you're interested in joining the new Discord server because I deleted the original one. And again, there's access to that via the link in the video description. Anyway, I shall catch you in the next video. Bye for now.